Hey Pretty Girl Club, this video is called Beauty is Social Power Part 2. So if you guys saw my Beauty is a Form of Social Power YouTube video, um, this is kind of a spin-off to that video. I feel like not, not enough people talk about this. A lot of people say that uh, things like pretty privilege can only be applicable if you are kind of centering the male gaze. And I disagree with that. I think that beauty can grant you certain advantages, not just in the dating field, but beauty puts you on a pedestal and it increases your visibility. So that is absolutely a privilege. And when I use the term social power, what I really mean is popularity. I mean, uh, almost like a small amount of fame. If you think of popularity, popularity is really just a very, very small, very tiny amount of fame. So maybe you have a few people at your high school who admire you because you're the head cheerleader, or maybe you are the star football player at college or something like that. That's almost like having a very tiny amount of fame, but within that high school or within that college. So when I use the term social power, what I'm really talking about is having an opportunity to be popular, having an opportunity to be seen, to be heard, and to have people listen to what you have to say. It's basically a form of clout. And this is why we see so many people hating on pretty women because they don't want you to have that clout. This is why we hear people say things like, you're not that light skin. They're saying that because in their mind, light skin is associated with beauty and pedestalization. And so by telling you, you're not that light skin, they want to hopefully stop you from getting clout because that person is associating a particular skin tone or a particular phenotype or a particular race. They're associating that with clout and they don't want you to have that clout. Because clout and popularity and fame, even if it's a very small amount of fame, that can be pivotal when it comes to moving forward in your career or trying to make money. So today I was actually watching this Netflix documentary about this girl who, uh, she was actually a criminal or whatever. For reference, the documentary is called Bad Vegan. And I looked up the girl, the blonde girl who was literally a fugitive. And that woman, she used the clout from that vegan documentary to grow her Instagram. You know, she's got a whole Patreon now. She's got a whole merchandise store and people are buying her merch. So she has literally used the privilege of visibility to market herself in a way that can cause her to make money. And honestly, I think that when people get jealous of beauty, what they're really jealous of is the social power. They are jealous of the attention that you attract when you are beautiful because a lot of people know that attention is a form of currency. And if you have enough people's attention, you can really do whatever you want and potentially make money off of it. This is why we see so many people get pissed and they say stuff like, oh, well, Ice Spice is mid or, you know, all these other girls who are pretty and they're rappers and stuff. They're not even that talented. Okay. But because they have more attention, their beauty gains more attention than the talent of the other rappers or whatever. Those women knew how to use that attention and translate it into money. They're able to go on these tours. They're able to sell out their tours. And the reason I'm talking about this is because I feel like if you are a part of the Pretty Girl Club, it is very important for you to learn how to use your social power in a way that benefits you. So some women do this via dating. If you watch people like Shira Seven, she talks all the time about how, you know, pretty privilege can help you to potentially attract a guy with more money or whatever. Some people like to use that method, but on this channel, because I promote decentering men, I don't want women to be trapped where it's like a man has to pick them in order for them to have access to things like money. I believe that your beauty can potentially make money for you in multiple different ways. You can be a model, you can do Instagramming, you can become a makeup artist and work at like, you know, do people's wedding makeup, you can do modeling of some sort, even things like fashion design or real estate or working in sales. Those are all areas where your beauty can cause you to have more visibility and more attention on you. Another way that you can use your attention as currency is if you've got a lot of people who kind of watch you and admire you, you can actually use that as a platform to talk about the things that are important to you. So for example, let's say you're passionate about mixed race issues or you are passionate about being an MLS woman and you really want people to recognize your identity or maybe you want to promote that identity. That's why I say that a lot of you guys on this channel, it's a really good idea for you guys to change your usernames or make new uh, YouTube accounts where you put a 
pretty picture on there and then you name yourself whatever name you feel comfortable calling yourself like caramel princess or mixed race princess or mixed queen or whatever it is that you feel describes your beauty in an accurate way. That's another way of using social power because your beauty on your profile pic it could attract people to kind of like click on your account or be like, oh, who is this? Oh, okay, she's Creole. Oh, wow, Creoles are like very pretty. Oh, wow, this girl is a Blasian mixture. She's Blasian and she's multi-generationally mixed. Wow, her picture is really pretty. Those are still examples of using your beauty as a form of social power because you essentially used that person's attention to draw attention to what you wanted them to pay attention to, which was your username. And some of you guys might be thinking, oh, getting attention is not a big deal, but it actually is because if someone gives you attention, what it really means is they're noticing you, uh, they are more likely to listen to you, they're spending time with you. So actually having beauty, like having pretty privilege, that can actually help you to make friends. Like for me personally, I definitely like having friends that are also pretty because I love like makeup and hair stuff and you know like going shopping and doing all of that stuff so I can admit that I am a little bit biased when it comes to my friendships like if I see a new girl like in my friend circle or something or she's kind of an acquaintance and I notice that she has really good fashion sense and her hair looks really cute and her makeup is always done I am more likely to hang out with her because she seems to represent kind of like the interests that I have I am not as likely to want to make friends with a girl that I first meet and let's say she looks really bad, her hygiene is not really on point, like her breath is kind of like not on point, it kind of smells bad or like, you know, she just looks disheveled, she kind of looks like she doesn't want to be there, she doesn't really look the most confident, she's not really interested in talking to people or kind of socializing, that's not going to make me want to be friends with someone. So pretty privilege can actually help you when it comes to your friendships as well, provided the people are not jealous. Like I said in other uh, videos, pretty privilege only works on men who are attracted to you or women who are not jealous of you. So if a man is like not attracted to your particular type of beauty or if the women around you are jealous of you, then pretty privilege actually works the opposite way to where potentially someone could be hating on you. And by the way, men can definitely be jealous of women. This happens all the time. I've had this happen to me in the workplace. And also, your beauty as a woman can trigger another person's inferiority complex. So you can trigger an inferiority complex in a man, you can trigger an inferiority complex in a woman. So that's why I say that uh, for me personally, I really do like having friends that are also pretty because number one, we can talk about girly stuff together. And I do feel like if a friend is jealous of me, that can actually be really dangerous. But what do you ladies think? Has beauty ever provided you with some form of social power? Have you ever received any free opportunities or extra attention or visibility for a business? Or have people kind of listened to you about the things that you cared about because they kind of admired your beauty and already put you on some sort of an invisible pedestal anyway? What do you ladies think? Let me know in the comment section and I'll talk to you next time. Stay pretty ladies.